This video is sponsored by SBCS, the Global Learning Institute, and a great place to learn. Let's get my one and I'm gonna say this. Before. Sure, yeah, go ahead. What are you? <laughs> printing you know yeah we, we never thought about becoming a, a book publisher or printing books you know that was something sort of elite things has been changing so much and so drastically yeah. and we depend so much on this little um, yeah. cell phone most of our clients would send yeah. information and we would in return yeah. send back um, completed artwork through yeah. via whatsapp Darren? That, those two items, the last two items I sent here, that was the final thing for her. It's just the cover now, right? Yeah. Daryl would normally handle the jobs as they come into the country. He would be the first person to receive the jobs and to deal directly with the customers. Most of the time he would do the, the artwork for the customer. Sometimes the, art, the customers will bring their own artwork. After the artwork is ready to be printed, the that Daryl will uh, make what you call a negatives of the um, the printed stuff. This machine behind him there is an image setter. This is what he will use to, um, to make the negatives. So once that, that is prepared and ready to, um, to make the plates, Daryl will now bring them into the um, dark room. This is our dark These are negatives. The process of developing film and making negatives like this is pretty much the same, right? This machine here is a, a processor. Once we get a negative out now, that's this. Now this is what we would use now to burn the plates. When I, when I say the burn the plates, I mean um, actually etch an image onto a metal plate that will go onto the press. When you factor in all these costs, add negative, run time, you know, changing different colors and then operator time, it still work out, works out to be cheaper than digital printing. The image setter that I showed you earlier, um, this is what will um, do the, what you call full color separation. These two negatives might look the same thing to you. Both of them are images of the same um, artwork. However, you can, you can look carefully, you would see the intensity, right, is less here than here. With a full color job, you have four colors making a full color, right? These four colors, cyan, magenta, yellow, and black, will give you any color in the spectrum, any color, except gold and silver. A lot of people don't have a concept about all these processes, you know. They figure that you just push the paper one through the machine and throw it on the next Right? That's digital printer. These four negatives are used to make four plates, plates yes. that you will then feed into the printing press. Yeah. Okay. Like what he's doing here. Right. This is an example of a plate, right? What what we do with this is um we use the negatives just to go over the plate and this is a photosensitive material, right? That we will put into the plate building here. And this will give get the image on the plate. Now once the space is uh, made, we go on to the press. This is a plate, this is a blanket, this is your ink rollers. Your ink rollers will ink the plate. The image now will be transferred to the blanket and underneath here, this is what they call an impression cylinder. The paper will pass between the, the blanket and the impression cylinder. And um, that's where you'll get your print from the paper. Also printing, right, is on the premise that um, water and ink don't mix. The plate itself is um, it's like a I, you, you, you ever see what dashing people take water, the water will just run off. That's what happens here. You have what they call water rollers that will wet the plate before the ink rollers go on. 
every revolution it make, the water rollers will wet the, wet the plate, then the ink rollers will come on. And only the image will pick up the ink. Right? And that is what is transferred onto the blanket. If you look in the back here, This is the, the water, this water, right? Plain water. And this is this section here is what you'll call the dampening area. These, wa these water rollers will hit the plate first. The water roller will dampen the plate and then the, the ink rollers will roll over the plate. So it's only where the image are etched onto the plate that you would, the ink will um, be able to, to um, absorb on it. You just have to run the, the colors in any particular order. Cyan, magenta, yellow, black. Every time I change the color, I change the plate. You want that spray. So the people want that spray. You want that spray. You want that spray. You want that spray. Alright, so the magenta come off the roller. Wipe the plate. The clean the plate off. Black is the one with all the writings on. So the yellow don't have the writing. So I'm not putting black now. I'm going to get all the writings on it. Here to be heavier in color. It will open up the ink color. Take more ink on this particular color. These little micro movements here is to move the paper. This is the final job. This is one color, two colors, three colors, and four colors. This is our full color job. Hello, Graphic Scripts Printing. Massive shout out and special thanks to the folks at Graphic Scripts Printing and this video's sponsor, SBCS. If you're interested in media, SBCS offers a wide range of courses in video editing, sound engineering, and graphic design, which is great because you could design your own flyers, your own business cards, and send them to the printer to get them printed. SBCS is a great place to learn. Facilities are top notch, the lecturers are A class. So if you're interested in taking your education to the next level, visit their website or one of their campuses. Thank you.